these parents begged for a daughter but got something completely unexpected. Do you know the expression, be careful what you wish for? Today's video is about Angie and Gino, who really wanted a daughter but got something completely unexpected. We'll tell you what happened. Angie and Gino Angie and Gino were a young couple who couldn't wait to have children together. They had always wanted a family and started talking about it early on in their relationship. They had even already decided on names for their future kids. And when Angie finally got pregnant, they were over the moon with the news. Already before Angie and Gino got married, they knew that they wanted to have two children, a boy and a girl. When Gino proposed marriage to Angie, she immediately said yes and they had a beautiful wedding. Soon after they got hitched, Angie got pregnant and she gave birth to a beautiful baby boy nine months later. The couple was very happy with their first child and then two years later, Angie got pregnant again, right on schedule. They had another boy this time. Their small family was growing up and they were very happy. And yet, it felt like something was missing. They desperately wanted a baby girl. Their family would be really complete with a daughter. Angie and Gino were crazy about their sons and gave them all the love and care that children deserve. They had no trouble getting up early and going to bed late. They watched the boys grow up and experienced and enjoyed each of their developmental stages. The boys were growing up, but still, the family was secretly wishing for a girl. Finally, a few years later, their dream came true. Angie was pregnant again. She was so happy and immediately made a doctor's appointment. She hoped that it would be a girl this time and went to the doctor with her fingers crossed. After the blood test, her pregnancy was confirmed. Gino was also very happy about the news and together they went to the doctor for the first ultrasound. That is when they found out that the baby was indeed a girl. They returned home super happy and excited. They couldn't believe their wish had finally come true and they were looking forward to the next ultrasound with a lot of impatience. But they didn't know what was in store for them yet. During the second ultrasound, the doctor discovered something strange. He saw not one baby in her belly, but three. It gets even better because all three babies happen to be girls. Angie and Gino couldn't believe what they heard. They didn't know how to take the news because they were in shock. They had always wanted a girl, but they hadn't expected such a big surprise. Being pregnant with triplets is unique because it doesn't happen naturally very often. Pregnancies with multiple children usually happen with fertility treatments. And what was even more unique in Angie's case was the fact that she was carrying the babies in two different placentas. That meant that the triplets were both identical and fraternal. This was a unique phenomenon. The girls were already special. Angie and Gino were so excited that their prayers had finally been answered, but they were also worried because the doctor had told them that being pregnant with triplets could cause some complications. At that point, they knew their lives would change forever. They immediately started to prepare for the arrival of the three babies. Angie and Gino hired a nanny and bought a big family car because their family would grow to seven people now. They also asked their friends and family for help and took time off work to support each other. As the doctor predicted, the pregnancy was not easy on Angie. Luckily, she had mentally prepared herself and knew a bit of what to expect. But she had only prepared mentally and she forgot to prepare herself emotionally. When Angie was 26 weeks pregnant, she encountered her first complication. Scans showed that the baby's amniotic fluid levels were low and she had to receive treatment immediately. Because this complication was quite dangerous for the health of the babies, the couple decided to stay under the watchful eye of the doctors. 
Angie spent the remaining 14 weeks of her pregnancy in the hospital. During these 14 weeks, Angie missed her two sons very much. She could only spend very little time with them, but she was so used to seeing them so much more. So Gino made sure to bring the boys to her regularly. The family basically lived in the hospital since they spent so much time there with Angie. Hospital staff also helped to make Angie stay as comfortable as possible. They even arranged a few date nights so she could have dinner with Gino, something they hadn't been able to do in weeks because of her stay in the hospital. Gina spent most of her time in the hospital in bed. She rested to keep the girls in her belly safe, but this was quite hard for her because she was usually a busy person. From time to time, she would be taken around in a wheelchair and she had photos made every day to check up on the babies. During one of the ultrasounds, the doctor found out that one of the babies was growing a bit slower than the other two. This baby needed some extra care. And in the weeks that followed, this baby received extra attention at every ultrasound. Doctors decided to let the babies grow until 34 weeks so that they could continue to develop on their own after being born. Angie looked forward to meeting her babies, but didn't want to do so before the time was right. So she waited patiently. The longer the babies remained inside her belly, the stronger they would be. But the babies had different plans. When Angie was 32 weeks along, the babies already announced their arrival. Angie's water broke and she was rushed to the delivery room. For safety reasons, doctors decided to take the babies by cesarean section. Angie agreed, considering the circumstances. During the operation, Gino held Angie's hand tightly. The first baby to come out was Danielle, followed by Annabelle, and finally Camilla. Angie and Gino couldn't immediately hold their babies because their lives were still in danger. This upset Angie and Gino, but they understood the situation and simply wanted their babies to be safe. Because the babies were born a few weeks early, they required medical attention and were placed in the incubator right away. The medical team was prepared and had made sure each baby had their own incubator and medical team ready. The babies were so small and needed warmth. Angie trusted the medical team and believed they would take good care of her babies. It made her feel better. Because the babies were so small and the lungs hadn't fully developed, they also needed help breathing. The medical team had a solution for these respiratory issues as well. The babies would be supported until they could breathe on their own. Machines would stimulate the baby's lungs to open so they received oxygen. The machine made sure that the babies received enough air. While Angie was still on the operation table, she was shown a digital photo of her babies. She was so happy to see her little girls and to see that they were doing well. Seeing babies digitally or in real life is quite different and she would have loved to hold them. A few hours after the babies had been put in the incubator, they already stabilized and started to breathe on their own. That was great news. But even though the babies were getting enough oxygen, they were not ready to go home yet. Luckily, they could be held by their parents now. Angie was put in a wheelchair and taken from the operation room to her babies. It was a beautiful moment to see parents and babies meet for the first time. Angie hadn't fully recovered from the operation yet, but seeing her babies did her a world of good. She got to hold each baby, one at a time, and that's when she realized her long stay in the hospital had been completely worth it. Angie was so happy she started to cry, and she looked at Gino proudly. Their big wish had come true, and how. The parents were overjoyed to finally hold their long-awaited girls in their arms for the first time. With the help of a nurse, the babies got to feel the body warmth of both Angie and Gino. The babies all still had their eyes closed, 
But when Gino picked up Annabelle, she suddenly looked him straight in the eye. The special bond between father and daughter was immediately created, right then and there. When Angie had recovered a bit, she was sent home to rest. She would still need some time to get back to her old self after the big operation. At home, Angie and Gino could rest peacefully, knowing their babies were in good hands at the hospital. Angie was happy to get home. Now, all she had to do was wait for her babies so that her family could live a normal life. Their babies were never left alone. The girls in the incubator were always looked after by a nurse. It was very important to always keep an eye on them because of their still fragile health. When the babies were finally stable enough to go home, the medical team was overjoyed and cheered for Angie and Gino and their little ones. Just like when raising the boys, everything started again, from diapers and bottles to nap times, and all times three. Suddenly having triplets at home is no easy feat, and they had their hands full with the little girls. And yet, as parents, they couldn't have been more proud. Their family was finally complete, and they felt happier than ever. The girls grew like crazy, very quickly, there was no sign of them having been born prematurely anymore. All this happened back in 2011, and the babies are now nine years old. They are such sweet girls. These parents begged for a daughter and ended up having three. That was not what they would have wished for, but they were more than happy with their blessing. Don't forget to subscribe before you go, and I'd love to see you again in our next video.